just want to give you a quick shop tour here. So, you can see my shop is really part of my two car garage. Um, piles of junk. I do kind of have it, for me it's semi organized right now. Um, I got as much stuff in bins as I could get. Um, a few extra things in here that won't be here for long. So I'm going to replace my miter saw stand with one of the rigid folding uh, portable stands I got on Black Friday. Uh, it's for my Christmas gift, one of them, so I can't open it yet. My wife won't let me. And then I've also got a Harbor Freight um, dust collector that I, same thing, got it for Christmas for myself. Although I guess my wife bought it, but since there's nowhere to put it in the house, it's pretty much just sitting here, so I'll get it during Christmas. Um, here's one of my workbench areas. Um, it's not really much of a wood shop workbench, I guess. Although a lot of the tools behind there, you can see I've got kind of a French cleat system I've had for years set up. Um, unfortunately, I kind of made it when I didn't have a ton of uh, power tools, hand tools. So, you know, stuff goes sideways, or goes lengthwise where it should be going straight into the to the wall and that way I can get a lot more stuff stored. I got my battery charging stations there, a um, few other tools sitting around. Um, the, the base cabinets I got at uh, Home Depot years ago um, on clearance. I was able to get two eight foot sections for much and nothing. Uh, they're the kind of cabinets where you buy them in pieces and then put them together by the door separately. Um, I think I caught Home Depot when they were in the process of changing vendors so they were clearing out what they had. Um, and then I've got the second row over here uh, again another eight foot about eight foot section. They're all just a little bit different. They're not quite eight foot or one of them I think is a little more than eight. Um, the two countertops I uh, caught on uh, clearance at Lowe's. I was really wanting white but I walked in one day and they had both of these setting up in a uh, a little section up front that they were clearing and there was no price on them. So I stopped a lady, turns out she was one of the assistant managers and asked her well, how much for the you know, the countertop. She said, oh, 20 bucks. I said, oh, okay, 20 bucks each. She's like, oh, no, just 20 bucks for both of them if you'll take them both. But you got to take them right now. So I really didn't have the kind of uh, strapping I needed in the truck, but I made do, went and bought them anyway, and uh, brought them home and got them home safely and um, put them in shortly afterwards and have loved them. It's about 10 years ago, and I've gotten a lot of good use out of them. All right, so kind of on the bench, you can see I've got my uh, old GMC drill press over here. This has been a great unit. I got it at Lowe's on clearance when they were, I think they, the brand had just went out of business or something and Lowe's was clearing them out. Just recently I broke the handle on here. Um, kind of sucks, but my friend Mark uh, welded it back for me. I still need to paint it and probably, you know, in the the welding ended up taking the rubber off, so I probably need to go ahead and spend some time and plastic dip the ends and get them looking a little better, but one of these days. Um, I always try to keep a few uh, measuring tapes there because I swear to God, it's the one thing I can never find. Every time I turn around, I've lost my measuring tapes. Um, got a grinder here. This was my dad's. I think I bought it for him years ago for Father's Day or Christmas or something. and. It's set out on under his shed and he used it there for years and when he passed away I brought it on home and uh, trying to carry on using some of these tools that were his and this was a vise that was his. I remember this vise when I was a little kid. It sat under a little lean to it at my parents house and it uh, goodness I think I put my bike in there numerous times. I put my uh, gun in there, my BB gun to try to sight it in. You know, so I've used that vise quite a bit. I'm trying to let the penetrating oil get in there and get all the bolts loose and the nuts loose so I can get everything out of there and uh, hopefully save as much of it as I can and clean it up and repaint it. Um, and then here's my uh, lathe. Um, got that earlier this year. Haven't had a lot of time to play with it much yet. I uh, have a little, just kind of learning how to use the tools, but uh, definitely plan on using that a lot more over the next few months. Um, most of my storage for my any of the wrenches, uh, you know, just any random crap goes in here. It's an old cheap husky from uh, well, Task Force, I guess, but I think it was from Home Depot or Lowe's. Just really a piece of junk, but it, it kind of serves its purpose. Um, 
I ended up building a uh, a little cabinet here a few months ago to hold my uh, small parts uh, containers. I got a couple of acro mills, a small, the smallest bins, and then the next size down, and just built this little holder to to kind of get them because before they just sat on part of my uh, one of my countertops and it took up a bunch of space. This way it, it was kind of dead space anyway and I went ahead and put something left some little space down there just to hold our grocery bags so when we run to Aldi or wherever during the week we can grab those and go. Um, probably the biggest used tool I've ever had has been my um, miter saw. It's a uh, rigid saw. Um, right now it's on a rigid stand that came with it when I bought it. Um, but as you see I bought a, like I mentioned earlier, I bought a portable folding stand that I plan on um, upgrading the stand. Now part of my problem currently though is I have my shop vac under the, um, the miter saw and I have one of the uh, little, uh, you can't see it, uh, you can see it right there. Um, the little switches that automatically brings the vac on whenever I turn on the miter saw. Um, so as you can see, you know, you hit the, the miter saw and the vac comes on and it stays on for a few seconds. And actually the way I normally hook this up is when I go ahead and hook up my table saw or my router, I'll plug them into my power strip down here. And as long as it's plugged into that power strip, it'll trigger the vac also so then I can just take this hose out and bring it over and plug it into the the table saw or the router but or the router table not on the router itself obviously but plug it into the back of the router table to try to get the a little bit of a little bit of dust collection now I'm hoping once I get the uh, Harbor Freight hooked up I think it's probably going to go over here on the wall uh, kind of clean some of that space out and get the harbor freight set up and be able to uh you know have everything where when i pull things out and just have things kind of in a line along the the space of the, the the garage door there then i can go ahead and have hoses hooked up to all three um and i'm, I'm looking at possibly setting up an alexa out here and an amazon echo to be able to do the uh turn the vac on and off so i can just do it through voice as opposed to having to carry a remote or anything haven't quite figured out how to set that up, but I'm still working on it. Um, and of course, like in the garage, again, this is a garage for more than just uh, woodworking at all. But I got a couple of generators over there. Tons of, you know, small pieces of wood. I've got my long wood storage over here um, behind the, the tool chest there with tons of old, old, great looking wood that I've got some ideas for. Any bigger wood seems to end up over here behind the behind the little folding table there between the folding table and the uh, and the, the gorilla racks. But anyway, um, you know I spend a lot of time out here as much as I can, or not as much as I want to, but as much as I can. And uh, I'm really hoping to get a little more time out here in the spring and just enjoy the weather before it gets too cold. But Thanks guys and y'all have a good day. Please email me with any questions or issues and I'll try to answer them in the comments. Thanks guys.